Uh, a pick and roll between Tyler and Jimmy. Um, you know, it wasn't the cleanest pick and roll, um, but it, it, it's the action that everybody felt most comfortable with. Uh, and um, we just didn't, you know, we didn't get anything like really to, to, to put some, put them on their heels. Uh, um, but we got um, a great offensive rebound um, and a good kick out from there. You know, when these games always end up like in a last possession, you always think about, I, I know what the players are thinking. They're always just thinking about the missed shots. You know, we had probably uh, three or four down the stretch where we missed that were makeable shots. You know, Tyler's uh, pull up in the middle of the, uh, uh, the paint. Yeah, I mean, he shoots that shot at 60 plus percent, you know, in, in those moments. Bam, got right to his sweet spot. I, look, I get it. You know, probably people are wondering why I didn't call a timeout. You know, I, I like those situations. And also, Bam's been in that situation where he's won a game, you know, without calling a timeout. Uh, and he got right to a sweet spot. I thought that thing was going down. Uh, but my point is, you, you always think about the missed shots, but there's a, a series of probably 25 to 30 defensive plays we could have done better, you know? And if you just do half of them, so it's not realistic to say that, okay, out of 25 defensive players where it's not our, our best effort and focus and discipline, okay, say 12 of them. That probably wins us the game by, you know, six, eight points. But, um, you know, that, that's, you know, part of the process of this league is sometimes, uh, you know, going through some pain. Um, hopefully this pain will drive us to a higher level. We need to get to a higher level. We need to get to a better level collectively. Um, and that's what I'm hoping this, uh, you know, frustration, pain, whatever, anger, whatever adjective you want to fill in there. Hopefully that uh, drives us to, uh, to um, you know, a better place, uh, you know, as we move forward. And there's no better way to, to do it than going out on the road, you know, where, where it definitely gets tougher. It's only, it's only us. It's only the, the, the people in this locker room right now and only us who get on that airplane uh, tomorrow. The Spurs didn't necessarily shoot the ball well from three, but what did they do to kind of have so much? You know, that, that, that's something we talked about, you know, before the game, that this was going to be a totally different feel than the Clipper game. This was going to be a lot faster pace, and, and that pace is not necessarily 94 feet. It's just everything they do is with a great motor um, and intensity, um, and that's cons as consistent as anyone in this league. Their half-court pace is probably as fast as anybody in this league, just in terms of how fast they run off of handoffs, how fast and violent they go on their catch and goes. Um, and we just, we didn't handle that pace well. We never really uh, were able to, to um, take control of that the way we needed to. Um, you know, that led to either some catch and go drives uh, or fouls uh, in the fourth quarter. Um, but that's a credit to the way, the style they play. Um, you know, they never re relent in terms of uh, that kind of, uh, that pace and and, and uh, f ferocity of, of how they drive. It's unique. The second half, no max. Was was that just something you saw? Did, did he do something? No, that was a coach's decision. And Unfollow too. I mean, rebounds. The ball tends to go where it wants sometimes too. But it and and you said before the game that they are the Spurs and they're going to play the Spurs way. They're going to play hard. We we know that. What did what didn't you like though on, on the rebounding end? Did did you think it was an effort thing or was there something else to it? No, it wasn't necessarily an effort thing. But their their cuts, you know, often led them to offensive rebounding position um, where we weren't able to to put a body on them. Uh, some of the tip out rebounds, um, you know, we weren't there on the perimeter times that I thought there's probably three or four where we could have grabbed it, but we thought the ball was going out of bounds. You can't leave that to chance. Um, and sometimes that, those end up being karma plays, you know, when, if you have an opportunity to go for it and put your mitts on it, you got to go for it. Uh, and 
You never know what might happen. Those can be momentum shifting plays when you let somebody make an extra effort. And there's a lot of teams that won't make those efforts. You know, the Spurs are not one of them. They're going to put their nose on the ball, and if, if it feels like the thing's going out of bounds, they're, they're going to run through the scores table, you know, to make an attempt to get it. And they, they got, a, you know, a handful of those. <clears throat> um, Victor had a few more minutes tonight than he had uh, last game. He's kind of increased his minutes, you know, slowly over the last three games. What have you seen from him in his kind of recovery and getting back on the court? Yeah, uh, the most important thing is just getting his minutes, getting his work, and not having any kind of setback. And, and you know, everything is encouraging right now so far. Um, he felt great yesterday. I, I think him being able to bounce back today and, and have an active game uh, was good. Uh, and we'll just we'll just continue to build on on, on this. Um, you know, we'll we'll try to keep the minutes where they are, roughly. You know, where they are uh, now, and we'll see where it goes. Last question: Is it kind of a double-edged sword that so many of these games are, are coming down to? Five points in the last five minutes. Is there any reason you can kind of put your finger on for why so many are so close? Consistency, discipline. You know, I think the, there's momentum plays throughout the course of the game where if you're up four, you can turn that into eight. Uh, you know, there's a, a, a myriad of different, like, scenarios where you can push a lead um, or if you're down two, where you can turn that into a five-point lead, if you're just really rock solid. Um, like I said, you know, we had the turnovers in the first half that were crippling, um, where we weren't able to control the game, you know, like we were uh, uh, against uh, the Clippers. Um, and then, in the you know, also the inability just to be able to handle their pace and their movement uh, and their catch and go drives. Uh, I think throughout the course of the game, you know, there'd be pockets of it where we were able to handle that well. Uh, and then there are other times where at key moments in the game, they're able to break us down off the dribble on a catch and go, led to a foul, led to a layup, led to an offensive rebound, you know, things of that nature. Okay, thank you.